Dr. Wood, author of the book Miracles and Minutes, and I am the Difference Maker. I'm going to teach you how to make a difference um, in your life and other people's life by way of thinking. And what happens is we all have problems, and most people never solve the problem, and they just repeat the problem. That's called insanity. <clears throat> so I'm going to be the Difference Maker. What would have made the difference in your life? What is it you didn't see? that was available to you in the problem that would have got you out of the problem. So, <clears throat> first concept. So I played college football, I played football a long time. All pro athletes, you know the one thing they do? is they look at the game film. <laughs> Which means life's like a big game. You're in the relationship game. At work, at home, with your kids, with your spouse, with everybody. You're always in the relationship game. So a lot of times you're getting your ass beat. <laughs> You know what you're not doing? You're not looking at the game film and saying, what would have made the difference? What could have I done better to win in this game? Most people are in a world of freaking insanity. You do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result in the game. You just keep getting your ass beat. <laughs> Stop it, I want you to be the winner. You gotta win, gotta win. Okay, so, a friend of mine, female friend of mine, uh, was talking to me, and she's telling me, you know, this and this, and her and her husband, you know, she, we all love each other. You know what the problem is? We miscommunicate, we misunderstand each other. Um, she loves him, he loves her, and they just can't seem to connect, and they can't get the problem solved. And then um, it becomes the same thing over and over again, the problem just repeats. So what happens is there's a problem, uh, you know, they get upset, they forgive each other, sort of. Then they come in, they talk to other friends, like, oh my God, no, no, no. So, the, so you're, you really aren't over the problem. You're still upset, and you're trying to pretend like you don't have it. Why don't let's get to the root of it. Dig out the problem. Make the difference. What is it you didn't see? What was the problem? Usually there's multifaceted things, and I'm getting ready to break it out for you. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the story. So she's at home, and uh, he says, he says, um, I'll be home by 7.30, okay? I got to go meet this client. Um, he wants to meet me in person. He won't, set the, he won't let, just send me an email. I got to go meet this guy. He's a needy person. So there's always this needy person who can start to disrupt our lives. So he goes and meets the needy person, and he's there. And this person now has so much need that he's blah, 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 blah. And he's just like, okay, 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 blah, 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 blah. So this is her husband. He's out there. The other part is the wife is at home going, it's 830. It's 930. It's 1030. Where are you? 1030 rolls around. He walks in. The, she calls him up. Where are you? What's going on? You said you're going to be here at 7.30. What's going on? He's like, I don't want to hear it. I don't, I just, I just get off me. And you you said, and you said, and you said, and he's like, I, I. that's what happened. Her world, his world. Okay. Do they love each other? Yep. Step one, what was the problem? Here's where it all went wrong. He said, he would be home at 7.30. What happened? He wasn't. He's out of integrity. His word's broken. She's sitting at home, wondering. So let's go into, guys. Let's go into the ladies' world, guys. Okay? Leave your freaking head for a minute. Go in her world. She's sitting home thinking, oh my God, is he okay? Is he all right? He's not in a good neighborhood. I wonder if something happened to him. Is he alive? Did something bad happen to him? So she's sitting home worrying because you said you would be home at 7.30 and there's no show, no call. What's the big problem? Somebody broke their word. <laughs> trust. Now that the trust has been broken. When you give your word and you break your word, 
trust is broken, and immediately someone's going to go into a state of fear. His world, ladies. Go into his world. I love and I care about my wife a lot. I want the best for her. I gotta meet this jackass tonight. I'm out here earning a living, you know, making money. So I want the best for my woman. I want her to have fine cars, nice clothes. I love her. I want the best. I'm out here dealing on the battlefield with these assholes. <laughs> making sure my woman eats, has the nicest clothes, gets her hair did, and everything else. I love her to death. Is the woman over in his world thinking like him? No. You're just over here going, you bastard. <laughs> you scared me to death. Ladies, leave your world, get in his world. I'm not saying he's right either, and I'm not saying she's right. This, this is what each party's thinking. This is what she's thinking. Are you okay? Are you still alive? Did something bad happen to you? Da, 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 da. So then she gets on the phone and, and she tells me what she said. I was concerned about you. I was worried about you. Where are you? You said. First part of what she did was perfect. Her feelings were true. Okay. I love you. I was, I was worried about you. That's part of it. Okay. Where, where the problem goes is when she started going, you, 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 you. Immediately, he's going to become defensive. Immediately, an argument's going to break out. And she says, yeah, but he. I was like, so-and-so, stop. When you do you, you're blaming him. I'm not saying he's right. But if you want to continue down the road to um, hell, because <laughs> now everybody's angry, everyone's upset, there is now a problem that started as a small problem that's now become a bigger problem, and every time you guys approach this situation, you handle it the same. How many years has this been going on? How long has it been going on? You keep going, the, why, am I, why is my relationship not enjoyable? Because you're on the road to freaking hell. Because there's some misunderstandings, okay? So what are the four questions that all human beings have? So I said, Randy, shh, I didn't mean to say her name. Um, what, what was going through your mind? Well, I want to know if he loved me. You know, if, if he, why did he call? Do you not appreciate me? Do I, I'm not worthy of a call? Do you love me? Do you care about me? Do you respect me? Do you appreciate me? Those are the four questions we all ask ourselves when something happens. He said this, trust is broken. When integrity, when you break your word, immediately, do you love me? Do you care about me? Do you appreciate me? Do you respect me? Do you respect my life? Do you respect me? That's what's going through our mind, girl, uh, guys. Okay? All those things are true. What happened was the word got broken. What's going to make the difference? This is what I'm going to show you. Okay? So when she got into you, 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 I said you went to aggressive language tones. You're attacking him. He's all, every, every human being. If I go, like, you, 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 I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to defend yourself. When people defend themselves, they stop listening to each other. They get angry. They get upset. And it gets bad from there. You went from a simple misunderstanding to a large problem, and you enter more into hell. Then you decide to stop the bullshit, sort of forgive each other, but the problem's still in the back of your mind, in his world and in your world. Okay? It's still going on. You didn't solve shit. You're just living with the shit. That's why it's so shitty in your life. So... I said, you know, Randy, what would have made the difference? I said, let me share something with you. Let me share a different perspective. You're going to play the relationship game different. This is the way you've always been doing it, and that's the result. It's not going to change for you. What's going to make the difference? Okay? So first of all, there's always going to be miscommunication with what makes a difference. What did you really want to say? Okay? 
I was upset. I was, I was worried about him. Okay. Now we're going to use the five whys. You ask yourself, well, why are you worried about him? Well, because I care about him. Okay. Why do you care about him? Because I love him. Why? I just do. I, I want to make sure he's okay. I want the best for him. Why are you upset? Why are you upset? Answer. Self-answer. Her answer to herself. Because I love him. Randy, here's what you really wanted to say. You pick up the phone. Where are you? I'm, I'm upset. That, that's, these are all true things. Seven thirty uh, came around, and um, you're not home. I got worried and I got afraid. And I, I, I love you and I care about you so much. I was really concerned that something happened to you. I just want you to know how much I care about you and I love you, and that's why I'm calling. Period. Say that to your man and see what happens. He's gonna he see you didn't condemn him, you convicted him. And conviction says, shit. Gosh, she really loves me and cares about me that much. She cares so much about me. Damn. I screwed up. Honey, I'm so sorry. See, when you convict someone, see, that's the language of conviction. See, God doesn't condemn people. He convicts them. He doesn't guilt them. You, 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 you. <laughs> but it all started in a language. What she really wanted to say is, I love you and I care about you. I was very concerned that something happened to you. I wouldn't know what to do if something did. I love you that much. See the difference in the emotions? So that's coming from love. And there's a little bit of fear that I was concerned about you. And then you need to get into love. If you just stay in fear, that's blaming. That's, that's passive aggressive behavior. What would have made the difference? So that's going to make the difference. So, I, you know, you said, what about him? What about him? I was like, you know, I'm not going to worry about him. If you would have done that, he'll actually change to you and you'll make the difference and you'll be the change maker. The final step is he could have asserted himself and told the guy, look, I need to, uh, I, I told my wife I was going to be home a certain time. I need to make a phone call right now. And I also need a time that we need to get out of here because I have an obligation to my wife. I love my wife and I care about my wife. Period. To the asshole who doesn't know how to listen. And you honor your word and you'd be assertive as the man to let that guy know, look, dude, I love and care about my wife. You're not going to tie me up all night. I'm going to put a time limit on your ass. We can do this another time. Okay? Dr. Wood, that's how you make a difference. That's how you go to heaven versus staying stuck in insanity and hell.